Welcome back to Autopedia, the channel where we explore the cars that are shaping the future of mobility and redefining how we think about driving. Today, I want to take you on a detailed journey into one of the most significant launches in BMW's modern history. We are going to talk about the all-new BMW iX3 Noia Classe. This isn't just another electric SUV. This is the car that represents a transformation in BMW's strategy, its technology, and its vision of sustainable mobility. It carries the Noe Classe label, and that label already tells us everything we need to know. It means this model has been developed from the ground up as a pure electric vehicle. It doesn't compromise. It doesn't share bones with combustion engines. It is born electric, and that makes every detail of this car worth our attention. Let's begin by setting the stage historically. The first BMW iX3 came out in 2020. At the time, it was a big step forward, BMW's first electric SUV built on the X3 platform. But because it was essentially an adaptation of a combustion car, many saw it as a transitional model. It was a good car, efficient and refined, but it wasn't bold enough to push the limits of what BMW could do with electric mobility. Fast forward to today, and we get the second generation iX3. And this time, it isn't just an evolution. It's part of the Neue Klasse, BMW's most important project since the original Neue Klasse vehicles of the 1960s that saved the company and defined its identity. Back then, Neue Klasse meant fresh design, modern technology, and a clear path forward. Today, BMW is using the same name to signal a new era of electrification. So why is the BMW iX3 Neue Klasse so crucial? because it represents BMW's volume model for the electric world. It's the one that will compete head-to-head -head against the Tesla Model Y, against Audi's new Q6 e-tron, against Mercedes EQC successor, against Volvo's EX90, and of course, against all the Chinese EV entries making massive waves worldwide. This is BMW's bread and butter segment, midsize SUV, premium category, global reach. And that means BMW must get this car right, not just in Europe, but also in the US, in China, in Asia, everywhere. Let's talk design. What you see immediately is a completely new visual language. For years, BMW's evolution has been cautious, but with the Neue Klasse, things have dramatically shifted. The iX3 has proportions that look strong yet minimalistic, a sleek exterior fronted by a reinterpretation of the kidney grille that feels futuristic. It's still recognizably BMW, but it doesn't feel forced. The pairs of slim headlights flank a flush surface grille panel, which is no longer about air intake, but about aerodynamic guidance and visual identity. At night, these headlights create an ultra-modern signature that might look sharp and technical, but also avoids being overly complex. The body side is equally clean, and that's not just a design choice, it's an aerodynamic requirement. Smooth surfaces, flush handles, carefully sculpted wheel arches, and a long wheelbase all work together to reduce drag. The roofline flows elegantly to the rear, where we find a set of sharpened, slim tail lights with a motif that stretches across horizontally, emphasizing width and modernity. The SUV looks muscular, but in a confident, restrained way. There are no fake vents or unnecessary flourishes. Every detail is connected to efficiency and purpose. This is a design direction that feels both premium and practical, and it has a timeless quality to it. Now, when you step inside the new iX3, that's when you really realize BMW has gone all out in reimagining the driving environment. The interior is anchored by what BMW calls Panoramic Vision, a digital display system that stretches across the base of the windshield. Unlike a conventional instrument panel or even a traditional heads-up display, Panoramic Vision projects information directly within the driver's natural line of sight. Speed, navigation, vehicle status, and even infotainment context are integrated in a glance-friendly format. It's immersive, yet surprisingly uncluttered. BMW wants to make driving feel intuitive and futuristic, and this display is one of the most radical innovations we've seen in any premium car. The center of interaction remains iDrive, but this is the next-generation version. The curved screen is more integrated, the user experience is simpler, and the system itself responds faster with upgraded processing power. While many brands are moving to all-touch, BMW manages to keep a balance, blending refined touch and haptic controls with voice and natural gesture recognition. The built-in assistant is smarter than before, 
relying on artificial intelligence to understand context, not just commands. Imagine saying, it's too bright in here, and the car immediately adjusts your ambient lighting and screen brightness without you specifying buttons. That's the type of seamless experience BMW is building. Sustainability is not just an engineering term here. The interior materials reflect a shift toward eco-conscious luxury. The use of recycled plastics, renewable fibers, and responsibly sourced leathers or alternative materials ensures that the cabin feels both modern and ethical. But don't think it feels any less premium. In fact, BMW has managed to give the interior a much more calming and high-end ambience. Slim lighting strips run across the doors, the dashboard design is tidy, the overall atmosphere is closer to a lounge than a cockpit. From a practical perspective, the switch to the Neue class architecture balances style with space. Because the platform is designed as a true EV, the floor is entirely flat, rear passengers enjoy significantly more legroom, and the cargo area is both wider and deeper than before. BMW knows this is a family vehicle as much as a premium statement. The seating comfort has been engineered accordingly. More ergonomic chairs up front, multi-contour rear seats that allow for long-distance traveling, and clever storage solutions throughout the cabin. But a BMW must also drive like a BMW, right? That's the heart of the brand, and the iX3 Noe Class is no exception. This car introduces BMW's sixth-generation eDrive system. In its core, it's a smart integration of the electric motor, the electronics, and the gearbox, all in one compact, efficient module. This reduces weight, lowers losses, and allows BMW to optimize packaging. The base version of the iX3 comes with a single rear-mounted motor, around 280 horsepower, delivering that classic BMW rear-wheel drive feel. For those who want more punch, the dual-motor X-Drive variants will push outputs to well over 400 horsepower, creating all-wheel drive capabilities and sub-5.5 second acceleration to 100 km per hour. Instant torque, precise handling, and agile responsiveness are part of this package. BMW's choice of battery technology is perhaps the biggest revolution in this vehicle. For years, BMW used prismatic cells, but with the Neue Klasse, they've converted to cylindrical cells, similar to 4695 and 4680 formats used by competitors, but with BMW's own chemistry. These cells have around 20% higher energy density. They are more efficient in thermal management, they charge faster, and they allow more flexible pack design. The result is a 30% range improvement compared to BMW's current EVs and charging speeds that are dramatically better. With an 800-volt architecture, the iX3 can take full advantage of ultra-fast charging stations. You can top up from 10 to 80% in around 20 minutes, and you can recover 300 kilometers of range in just about 10 minutes. That's game-changing for long-distance usability. So what does that mean in numbers? Depending on the specific configuration, BMW targets between 480 and 600 kilometers of WLTP driving range. In EPA terms, that's close to 300 to 370 miles. Plenty for long trips, plenty for daily use, and with the ability to recharge so quickly, range anxiety isn't really an issue anymore. The driving character remains true to BMW's reputation. Engineers tuned the chassis for balance, giving it a near-perfect weight distribution and a low center of gravity. The suspension setup blends comfort with agility. On city streets, the iX3 glides comfortably, quiet and smooth, isolating passengers from rough surfaces. On twisty country roads, though, it feels engaging, with sharp steering response and impressive body control for an SUV. In fact, one of the key advantages of electric SUVs is that the heavy battery in the floor stabilizes the car, and BMW's engineers lean into that to provide a planted, agile feel. But modern cars aren't only about mechanics, they're about intelligence. The iX3 Neue Klasse comes with a new generation of driver assistance and autonomous features. Highway Assist allows semi-autonomous driving in specific situations, enabling hands-free cruising at regulated speeds. The car constantly monitors the driver's attentiveness while providing lane keeping, adaptive cruise, and automatic overtaking. BMW hasn't gone for full self-driving promises like Tesla, but it's offering a robust, safe, and legally compliant approach that blends assistance with driver engagement. And thanks to continuous over-the-air updates, these systems will improve and gain new functions over time. 
the ecosystem extends beyond the car itself. The iX3 is integrated into BMW's connected drive suite, but also into your digital life. Your phone becomes your key. Your house can communicate with the car for charging schedules. If your home solar panels are generating power, you can set the car to charge exclusively during high solar output times. If you're traveling, you can check the car's charging status from anywhere. BMW doesn't just sell you a vehicle, it sells you an entire connected electric lifestyle. On the sustainability front, BMW is making big promises. Production of the iX3 Noah Class A at the brand new Debrecen plant in Hungary uses only renewable energy. Recycling is prioritized in everything from aluminum structures to battery chemistry. The batteries themselves are designed so that valuable raw materials like nickel, cobalt, and lithium can be reclaimed efficiently. By integrating more secondary materials and reducing CO2 emissions across the supply chain, BMW ensures the car's green message is not just marketing, but reality. So where does this leave the iX3 in the market? It slots right into the middle of the most competitive electric SUV segment on the planet. The Tesla Model Y set the benchmark for sales. The Audi Q6 e-tron and Mercedes EQC successor are strong contenders. Asian automakers are producing value-driven entries with high tech. But the BMW iX3 Noah Classa has clear strengths. Premium quality, highly competitive range, excellent charging speed, engaging driving dynamics, sustainability leadership, and unmistakable design identity. For buyers who want more than just an appliance, who want a true BMW experience, this car positions itself as a top contender. In conclusion, the BMW iX3 Noah Classe is more than just a new generation of an SUV. It's a vision of what BMW wants to be in the next decade. Clean, elegant, and efficient in design, technically advanced, digitally connected, and sustainable by construction. But above all, it's still a driver's car. The transformation to electric mobility doesn't mean abandoning BMW's DNA. It means reinterpreting it for a new era. For drivers around the world, whether in Europe, America, or Asia, the iX3 Noe Classe represents the electric premium SUV that doesn't force compromises. It delivers efficiency without dullness, luxury without waste, and future technology without alienation. It is both forward-looking and authentically BMW. And that combination might just make it the most important BMW of this decade. So there you have it, the brand new BMW iX3 Noe Classe, a car that doesn't just move the game forward, it helps rewrite the rules of what a premium electric SUV can be. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay up to date with every major car launch and innovation in the automotive world, make sure to subscribe to Autopedia, hit the like button, and drop a comment sharing your thoughts on the new iX3 Noe Classe. I'd love to hear whether you think it has what it takes to take on Tesla and the rest of the competition.